Today I want to talk about Nintendo's free DLC that they are doing once more for Mario Strikers Battle League and just kind of talk about this entire thing they've been doing as a whole because I think most of us can agree it's pretty scummy. Let's talk about it. Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Media. Today I wanted to do a kind of just freeform discussion about the free DLC that Nintendo's been doing for its games ever since Splatoon launched in 2015, which by the way, the day I'm recording this, it is actually the I think seven year anniversary of Splatoon. So it's been almost a decade of them doing this. So I think it's safe to say they're not gonna stop anytime soon. They've been doing it for quite a while now. Uh, but yes. On May 27th, uh, Nintendo of America tweeted out that Mario Strikers Battle League, as we all expected, will be getting free post-launch content, uh, free post-launch updates coming, including new characters is what they actually say specifically. Keep an eye out for more details on updates in the future. So, nothing concrete on what's going to be in there aside from more characters. Um, obviously, if, if you look at the character roster, you, you see there's some pretty glaring omissions. I don't think Toadette's in there. Daisy isn't in there, which is absurd. Um, and I just want to talk about this because I haven't really talked about the free update thing. I, I, that's not true, actually. I did do a video on Switch Sports, which is another game that is doing this that I think is pretty egregious. In fact, that one might even... No, I, I'd say that one's not as bad. So, uh, the thing with Switch Sports is um, the game is very content light as it is. Um, and it really kind of... The way they've done the updates for that game, it's kind of consistently content light. Because they have weekly uh, kind of cosmetic panels that you do challenges for. Or not challenges, you just play the game and get points. Um, so, there's never more content than there was at launch right now. No matter what time you're playing, there's always just the three kind of uh, cosmetic panels that you can work towards. Game points for. So, you're not building up like a catalog of stuff to go for. It's always changing. So, it's kind of the same amount of content as there was at launch. Which is definitely an issue. Uh, but what they're doing with that game is they're releasing golf as a free update later in the fall they said um which is hilarious <laughs> uh this is switch sports golf is one of people's favorite wii sports that i have golf or the golf in there at launch is absolutely ridiculous um i still I, I i enjoy switch sports i actually play it still weekly i go for the cosmetics um more more so out of, of fear of missing out like if i miss one i'm not thinking you know wait until like a year from now when they start redoing panels um but not having golf there is absurd mario shakers battle league we all expected it, but it's still disappointing to see. And, like, it's funny because when this was announced, I saw a lot of people on Twitter saying, like, only Nintendo fans will defend this kind of stuff. I don't see anybody at this point defending the free updates, especially for a game like this. Um, I will say I think Splatoon has a little bit of leeway with it being a multiplayer shooter. There's a lot more kind of meat on those bones already in terms of replay value. With a game like Mario Strikers, most people are going to play it the weekend it comes out and then not touch it again. Let's be completely honest here. Um, it's not a game that people are going to be playing for two years like they are going to be with Splatoon. So having cut content, and it is cut content that they're waiting to release for free as a you know a little enticing thing, is it's it's so anti-consumer. It's so anti-consumer because uh, they at the same time they announced a beta for this game. Which I guess, by the way, quick announcement, I'll probably be streaming that. I think it's on Friday, um, like 8 p.m. or something, PST. Um, they announced a beta for this game. And I was thinking when they announced that beta, like, damn, I'm a big Nintendo fan. You know, I'm going to buy the game. However, I was thinking, like, damn, they're doing a three-day beta with, like, different time slots. You know how they normally do. Um, that might be enough for me, man. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I beat Mario Golf Story Mode. Um, I beat Mario Tennis' Aces Story Mode. And they're enjoyable enough. This game, I don't think, does this game have a Story Mode? Either way, if it doesn't, the online's clearly more of a focus in this game than it was in golf and uh, tennis. So, like, for me personally, if I wasn't, like, a diehard Nintendo fan, I could probably play this beta and be good. You know, they, they already released the demo. You can play it right now. So, they've already kind of lost a lot of the luster of the release date because everybody's been playing with like, the little tutorial that you can. And you're seeing all the animations for all the characters. I'm pretty sure the beta has every character that's in the game. It is shocking how content light this is. This is probably the most bare bones Mario tour sports game on Switch so far at release, which is really sad, man. Um, I've never played a Mario Strikers game, so I don't know how it actually stacks up against other ones. But just seeing a roster of 10 characters in a sports game like this is honestly kind of embarrassing. Um, and, and to be fair, the other Mario sports games, I'm pretty sure I had a similar roster at launch, but... Something about this, man, just this one feels like even worse. I don't know why. I think it, maybe it's because Next Level's making it. I've come to expect a little bit of, you know, wonkiness and just kind of uh, uh, lack of polish, I guess, from, from Camelot, you know? I, I like Mario Tennis Aces, I like Mario Golf Super Rush. They aren't the most polished games, and they aren't the most content-heavy. Next level games, man, they they make the big games. They make the Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion 3 is one of the Switch's best games, and obviously this game is, is higher quality. 
just from what we've seen and more more effort has been put into it than the other mario sports games on switch there's no doubt in my mind with all the animations and just like the art the style and just even like the remix tracks people have been data mining from the demo like more time and effort went into this game than others but to see nintendo obviously next level has no choice but to, so to see nintendo kind of just strip away content to do free updates from the, a next level game is really disappointing most people are going to play this game the week it comes out and then not play it again. I don't know anybody that played the Mario Golf Super Rush DLC. Didn't they add like Odyssey stuff? Like a courses or something? I don't know anybody that played that. And I had a lot of friends that had the game. And I don't I don't know anybody that played that content. So by taking content out and releasing it later, you're just... No one's going to play it. <laughs> and then the reputation of this game will always be what it was at launch. It's not like Splatoon. Splatoon has an excuse. Or not even an excuse, but like, Sp Sp Splatoon gets a pass. You know, they've been doing that since it was a new series. Mario Strikers used to be launch complete. Same with Mario Tennis. And, well, I mean, obviously Ultra Smash is a bad example. But, like, you know, like, these Mario sports games used to be content complete. Splatoon at least started as a new franchise with this kind of content model. And I think it more so gets a pass also because of just the, the genre it is. These Mario Sports games don't. They already had a history of being complete games. I'm not even a Daisy fan, but bro, what the hell? <laughs> not having Daisy in there at launch is honestly... Bro, what? How? Daisy is a, a Mario Sports character. You can't not have Daisy. Um, so I don't know, man. It's just really disappointing to see Nintendo take this model... I don't even, like, is it, it must be working, it must be, they must be, see, be seeing the statistics and being like, okay, a lot of people came back for the DLC for Mario Sports Super Rush, or Mario uh, Golf Super Rush, or same thing for Ace, I, to be fair though, I think to Ace's credit, it did have more, like, substantial, then they had like another world to the story mode or something, um, or like challenges or something, so in that case, it had a little bit of a beefier content update, Mario Golf Super Rush, I'm pretty sure, I, I can't, I don't even know what they added to be honest, because no one talked about it, just no one cared, and then you have something like Switch Sports, which, Golf should have been there at launch. That is an update that will probably get people to come back. It is ridiculous that it wasn't there at launch, but to Nintendo's credit, it'll probably get players back. Cutting out Daisy from Mario Strikers is just going to piss people off. Having a, char a character in a sports game like this, it doesn't change the gameplay that much. It's not like um, adding a new map to, to Splatoon or a new mode or even just new weapons or cosmetics. This is like adding a new racer to Mario Kart, which is cool. I, I want new racers in Mario Kart. It doesn't really change anything. So to expect people to come back just to look at that, it's kind of whack. And to be fair, they do say post-launch updates coming, including new free characters. So there might be more more free stuff. There might be new modes. There might be new maps. I don't really know. Um, but I just think it's a very disappointing route that Nintendo has taken. It makes me worried about... I'm not even, I'm not even like... really. It seems to just be the sports stuff. Even Switch Sports, which funnily falls in with this, because I, when I say sports, I, I meant Mario Sports, but like obviously Switch Sports kind of just falls in there naturally too. Um, but what if they start doing this for other series? I'm trying to think what they really could do this for. Maybe like the next Mario Kart. I saw a joke tweet like the next Mario Kart's going to launch with 10 tracks at this rate. Like no joke though. No joke. <laughs> Ar Arms did this also with the free content drip, which once again, those are the Mario Kart devs. If we get an ARMS 2 this year, even in Mario Kart 9 on Switch 2, or Mario Kart 10 is what it actually is, by the way. Whatever it is, they will probably be doing this, which is, for a Mario Kart game, that would probably be okay, because more people love Mario Kart anyway. But for a game of this scale, it just does not make sense to me. Um, if they wanted to have content for people to come back to, just do a Splatfest kind of thing. Do like a little war. Have like a war between teams. Like you have the villains and then you have the heroes or something, you know. Obviously, there's way more uh, good guys in a Mario Shaggers game than, than bad guys. But just do an event like that. Have like little tournaments in game. You don't need to not... Daisy's in the game already, bro. <laughs> you know da everything that they're going to release for this game is probably done. Unless there's some big update they have planned for like six months from now, which I doubt. So it's just it's just really stupid. And going back to what I said earlier, I saw a tweet of someone saying Nintendo fans defend this. I'll admit, I've seen a couple people kind of like, ah, it's fine. The majority of people are calling this out for what it is, and it is BS. It is BS. Now, with all that said, I'm going to buy the game. <laughs> so I guess I'm part of the issue. However, maybe they'll see the statistic. Okay, okay, you bought the game, and you didn't come back. Because I'm not going to come back. There's no way. Like I was saying, like I could probably... Honestly, I mean, here's the thing. I'm going to play the beta... I'll probably try to stream that. I think, like I said, it's on Friday um, and then through Sunday at different, a lot of times. I'll stream it. 
And honestly, like, there's a good chance I just get enough out of it out of that. Like, these games aren't something I, go I come back to for months. I play them for a weekend or a week, and then I'm just done, you know? I think Mario Golf Super Rush is probably my most played one just because of how long that story mode took me to beat because I was terrible at it. I'm not a golf person. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this uh, kind of free content drip that Nintendo does. What do you guys think? Are you guys disappointed like I am that they're doing it yet again, uh, specifically with a next level games game? I mean, next level, I was honestly kind of annoyed that they're even on a, a Mario sports game, bro. Just let Camelot handle it. They can figure it out. Next level games, bro. They made one of the best Switch games. They don't need to be doing this this, this sports game. <laughs> I know a lot of people were happy when this was announced, and they, I'm sure it'll do well, but next level is on another, no pun intended, level when it comes to developing games. They, they should not be doing this. Um, so, there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Are you upset to see this kind of content support for this game uh, and just this content drip that Nintendo does in general? Uh, what other franchises can you think that they might try to put this one in the future? I'm trying to think, like... <laughs> like this, they released like a WarioWare game where like they release biker games every few weeks or something, uh, you know, something something ridiculous, you know, or like a, a Mario, a 3D Mario, or Breath of the Wild too. You have to, you know, they they slowly drip in the shrines, you know, something crazy like that. Um, I don't think it would go that far, but it is still disappointing to see. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Botox Media. Join my Discord link to that is down below. Check out my manga channel shown in Soup, where I post manga and animated videos. And uh, until next time, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye bye.